today i am going to discuss about flange coupling and this one is a figure of the flange coupling so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management in the last video we have discussed about the box coupling as well as the split box coupling now it's turn for the flange coupling so let's start with the function of the flange coupling but before starting of the function see the figure carefully this one is the driving shaft from where you want to transmit the power so this is the driving shaft and this one is the driven shaft that means we want to transmit the power from driving shaft to driven shaft these are the two flanges driving flange and driven flange nut and bolts this is called as the hub and this one is the key it is used to connect two shafts which are perfectly in axial alignment for transmitting power construction flange coupling consists of two flanges here you can see two flanges mounted on the shafts with the help of key the flanges are connected together by means of bolts here you can see arrange on a circle concentric to the shaft that is called as the peach circle diameter one of the flange has a projected portion and the other flange has a corresponding recess so you can make sure that both the flanges are in aligned condition now next working of the flange coupling power is transmitted from driving shaft to the flange first through this key then again it is further transmitted from the driving flange to the driven flange through the bolts again power is transmitted from the driven flange to the driven shaft through this key now the very important image for the examination because of it is actually 3d figure to understand only the construction and working of the flange coupling but you can't draw the same figure in the examination so definitely you should draw this figure in the examination very simple figure there are two views this one is the front view and this one is the side view and here you can see peach circle diameter where you can put the nut and bolts this figure also once again used to understand the flange coupling but in the examination you can draw this figure only here you can see the key then hub these are the nut and bolts and these two are the flanges here also you can see the key in the side view more images for the flange coupling once again it is used to understand the concept of the flange coupling so exactly here you can see one flange having the projection and another flange having the recess corresponding to this projection so that both can be aligned together these are the nut and bolts keys you can see driving shaft and driven shaft next advantages of the flange coupling high torque transmitting capacity easy to assemble and disassemble or you can say dismantle simple in construction easy to design and manufacture next disadvantages of the flange coupling it can't tolerate misalignment between the axis of the two shaft that means it must be collinear to each other it is used only where the motion is free from shock and vibrations it requires more radial space here you can see the flanges are provided and so that it requires more radial space if you want to see more engineering videos then subscribe my youtube channel and go to playlist thanks my dear friends press the like button to appreciate this video